Klingons and Federation crew members are beaming into Vancouver this weekend. It's a Star Trek convention, but it attracts more than just Trekkies. Gadget groupies love it too. Teresa Lalonde explains why. They've come for the characters in character, but the star tech is also important. So many of the gadgets from the series have inspired real-life inventions. Beam me up, Scotty. A's iPad just might be a descendant of the original pad. Well, they have made working hypo sprays, as they said. Lasers. Skype. Definitely Skype. It's just like Star Trek. You're talking to somebody and you can actually see them on screen. She's right. I reached a UBC professor of astrophysics on Skype. Now there are physicists who are working on quantum teleportation, trying to, to transfer the information about an atom from one place to another place. No transporter yet, but the promise of one. There are more examples. Uhura was the original wearer of the Bluetooth. Phasers, somewhat like tasers. Portable translators used by the U.S. Army. Sliding doors. 3D gaming looking more like a holodeck all the time. And GPS devices, they talk. Just like computers in Star Trek. For fans of the series, it's not just the gadgets that interest them. It's the idea that technology can improve society and bring about utopia. That ideal has brought 900 fans here this weekend. The convention also has a rare treat. Captain Kirk and Spock together on stage this Sunday. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.